Our next caller is Daniel from Pennsylvania. Hey, Daniel, how can we help you? Hey, how are you? Nice to talk to you. Um, so I just found out, I just uh, discovered you guys about six or eight weeks ago when I uh, switched to a three-day-a-week full-body workout, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. My question is, I, uh, I get a, it takes me about 75 to 90 minutes per workout, and I was wondering, since I get about an hour break for lunch at work, if I could split that workout into two sessions um, just, to, just to get some of it uh, done either before work and or after and the, and the rest uh, during my lunch break. Yeah, Love this no, question. Yeah, no, don't, whatever you do, don't split your workouts. You'll go backwards. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> he, I'm he's just lying. Kidding. He's I'm lying. I'm just kidding, Daniel. No, you, okay, so- This is a, this is a very common question, yeah. by the yeah, way. It's almost better to do Yeah, that. actually, yeah. I was just going to say, here's something that's interesting and is the reason why workouts are, if you look at all the studies, right? You look at all the strength athlete studies and the studies we've seen with Olympic athletes and and whatnot, they actually show that, that shorter multiple workouts a day are superior. Now, the reason why workouts are once a day is it's extremely inconvenient for most people. Most people don't want to go to the gym more than once a day at most. So it's inconvenient. And the difference isn't huge, but there is a difference. So here's the truth, Daniel. Doing two short workouts or shorter workouts will probably get you better results it will. than doing one long workout. That's just the truth. And I've experimented this with myself. Absolutely. I've done this myself many times. And that splitting up the, of the workouts actually can increase the amount of volume that your body can tolerate. Um, and the adaptations you get from it tend to come a little bit faster. Now, it's not a big difference for somebody who's a beginner per se, but if you're an intermediate or advanced, splitting up workouts is pretty damn awesome. So th this, is a cool, this is a cool thing. If you can do this and you have the, the time and the discipline to, to work out twice a day, uh, I think you're going to love the results. This is actually my favorite way to run our MAPS Anabolic program because MAPS Anabolic is a full body routine. And I like, because it, it can, because I'm doing you know big compound lifts, it can start to drag out beyond an hour. And so I like to split up my upper and lower body in the same day. And because I have that luxury like you do, where I can get to a gym where we're in a studio where we have a gym, I can work out in the morning for a half hour and then I can finish the workout after we're done podcasting in the afternoon. I love to do that. And like Sal said, there's actually benefits to doing that over cramming it all in one hour and 15 minutes. That's great. Um, is there anything nutrition wise that I should be doing between the two workouts or uh, Refuel, yeah. refueling for sure? Yeah. So after your first, so the this is where the post workout uh, window, if you've ever heard that, makes sense. This is where it actually makes a difference. So after your first workout, make sure you have some carbohydrates and some proteins, if not once, at least twice before your next workout. Uh, so that you've replenished some of the glycogen in your muscles and you can have a the second workout, you don't suffer mm -hmm. from having the first workout. In other words, you want to be able to hit that second workout with a similar strength and intensity that you hit the first workout. Otherwise, what will end up happening is that whatever you work in the second workout isn't going to get the same results as, the, as what you worked in the first workout. Yeah, your biggest enemy uh, in your workouts is fatigue. And, and this is one of those ways that you can extend your workout uh, and have you know better performance in your workout, even with working on technique and uh, you know really like addressing all the areas of your body you want to. So I think this is like a beautiful plan. Great. All right. Well, thanks. that's awesome. Thanks for calling in, man. Yeah. Thanks for your support. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is, um, uh, you know, back in the day, I didn't realize this was a thing that you could get better results from, from splitting up workouts. Well, and I actually got it from uh, somebody that worked for me. I saw this, this guy who had this, tr this trainer who had this incredible bench press. And I noticed that in between as a trainer, in between clients, he would go to the bench and he'd do like two or three sets. Yep. And he'd just do this throughout the day. And they were like sub-maximal. He wasn't doing you know, 90% intensity. It was probably around 60% intensity. And he's like, oh, yeah. He goes, if I want to get stronger at a lift or bring up a lagging body part, I just train it that way. I and mean, I this is true with most things. If you think about what you do constantly throughout the day, uh, you know, whether it's in your job or just like physically uh, what you do throughout the day. Like if if I'm climbing, you know, constantly like sporadically throughout the day, I'm going to be really good at that. My body's really going to like recognize that right away and and perform at a higher level. Well, much of the your trigger session philosophy comes from this Absolutely. science. This is what supports that. This is why it's so beneficial to do these little 10, 15 minute band workouts throughout the day and why people have huge results when they fall. And I think that's one of the secret or hidden secrets of MAPS Anabolic is that it has these trigger sessions 
which is you're just breaking up these little 10 minute workouts throughout the day that aren't even that intense. You think it's, oh, it's not that intense. So I'm not going to yeah. see the results, but it is, it's the frequency of, of doing this throughout the day. And then I remember Sal on the show, it was, God, it's been probably a year and a half, two years when you took this to the extreme level, when you split up and then you trained I did an all day workout. All day workout. Have you guys experimented with that yet? I have. Not, okay. I haven't to your level, but I've messed with it a little bit where I've worked out like three or four times. So, in the what, day. what do you guys notice from doing oh, that? Oh, it's phenomenal. Oh, yeah. You the, get way better at these lifts. And it, psychologically, it's weird because you don't ever really break a hard sweat or it doesn't feel like you're really training totally. good foot. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, when I go back and I calculate like the volume's the, crazy, the volume's a ton. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, the, and the way I would do it is I'd go I every other hour, I do like two or three exercises for a few sets that's it and the, the intensity wouldn't be super high it'd be around 70 percent. but by the end of the day i've done like five sessions and the volume is just tremendous and i, I feel phenomenal and i actually get stronger it, here's a funny thing if you do these all-day workouts let's say you're squatting every other hour for a few sets up until you know let's say you start at 9 a.m and you end up finishing around 6 p.m or something like that you'll actually find yourself getting stronger throughout the day it's really really mm -hmm. trippy yeah